Amin Laschet, the chair of the CDU and the minister president of Nordrhein Westfalen, did a 180 over Easter. Prior to Easter, he was more of a proponent of controlled openings with mass tests and an opponent of strict lockdowns. He kind of has been one since last spring in order to differentiate and distinguish himself from Markus Söder, the minister president of Bayern, who has been in favor of those. And his then bid to become CDU share, which he did become this winter. And now, as a CDU share, he tries to distinguish himself from Söder, who has the CSU share, to become the CDU-CSU nominee for chancellor. And this actually brought him in conflict with the current chancellor, who is also a member of the CDU, Angela Merkel. Since she is more in line with Söder's uh, policies regarding COVID-19 than with Laschet's, even though in general Laschet and Merkel are more similar policy and politics wise than Merkel and Söder. And you might already have deduced that since he made this big turnaround, he's now also in favor of a lockdown. But unlike people like Söder and some other minister presidents who are more or less in favor of a lockdown, like uh, Winfried Kretschmann in Baden-Württemberg and I think also Bodo Ramelow in Thüringen, um, Laschet doesn't give a time limit. Which, on one hand, okay, might not be the worst idea, saying we have to keep a lockdown until we mm, reach point X, not for just saying for two weeks and then we open up again, but we have to see where we are by then. The problem is he's not saying uh, we have to empty, empty the ICUs again. He's not saying something like we have to get the infection rate under 50 again or even better under 35. We um, don't have to reach a point in, at which we, I don't know, have enough tests for everyone. I can safely distribute it across all of Germany. No, he's saying until we have enough vaccines. Without clarifying what it means to have enough vaccines. Because right now it looks like by the end of the month, Germany will have vaccinated 20% of the adult population. That's not enough for safely reopen everything. If he means by enough vaccines that we have enough vaccines to make everybody the offer to get vaccinated, right now the government is predicting that goal to be reached by the end of summer. That means maybe late August or early September. And by the time we actually have reached herd immunity, that means over 70% of the public is vaccinated, will have fall, and we already passed the federal election in September. And he probably doesn't mean that point in time, or even we have enough vaccines to make an offer to everyone. Because then he would have said, or gone from no vaccines, no lockdown, last week to lockdown for five to six months, this week. I think he means May. And I think he is now saying what people, especially on the left, has been, have been saying for months now. One lockdown, one strict lockdown to try to get as close as possible to zero COVID which would then allow the health agencies and health offices and bureaus to really follow the infection chains again, because we lost this ability. The number 50 saying um, that's the 
number where everything should close down originally was chosen because we assume that that's a number where the health agencies are not longer capable of following and uh, um, the infection chains and of stopping them if it goes above that but what we had to realize is the number is way lower which is why then people started to talk about the number 35 which was quickly thrown away because the number was so low that a lot of people were in society were like we're never going to reach that that means you just want to uh, lock us into our homes until summer so back up to 50 and when it was clear the third wave was coming and if we keep it at 50 there is no openings before easter it was raised to 100 and then just before easter hit in a lot of states we hit the 100 and a lot of states were like we don't want to close the economy again but they should have now we're in the middle of the third wave and we should actually have closed everything down in march we're in april Yes, there are countries where it's way worse, but that's no excuse. If we want to protect our German health system, we have to lower the case rate. For that, we have to implement a strict lockdown. And I'm happy that Armin Laschet finally saw the light and is on that side now. But he doesn't give any details how he imagines that and what he means by enough vaccines as being the end goal and to top all that off he is arguing that the uh, conference between the minister presidents and the federal government that is planned for next monday to be held this week and not like in the recent months digitally but in person for whatever reason because mm, big meeting between several public officials and so on and so forth, that's not going to be any problem traveling across all of Germany. That no, 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 that could not possibly spread the disease in any way. Because you're just going to travel alone, right? There's no convoy, no drivers, no assistance, no aids, no nothing. Are you kidding me? Of course these people are going to travel with aids. And the more people travel to one big meeting that can easily be held online via Zoom or whatever, the more risky it becomes. So Laschet didn't completely say goodbye to him being, well, somebody who kind of downplays the seriousness of the moment in order to placate to fearful voters to try to take away their fear by saying it's not that bad and look we can solve it and we can do this and that and of course to also placate the economy no 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 we can keep as much open as possible in order to keep as much short-term gains as possible even though it will harm the economy in the long run other countries that did efficient lockdowns now we're doing better economically, not just China. One of the major problems Germany has and the rest of Europe is that in Germany, we already can't decide on one national strategy for all 16 states that everybody follows. Nor can Europe decide on one that all 27 states have to follow, no matter what. Because if we had implemented on a European level a zero COVID strategy, God knows where we would be right now. But we didn't. Now it's just patchwork all the time. And having somebody like Merkel who would rather sit out a problem than to actually solve it as a chancellor isn't helping. And having her potential successor be a clown who doesn't really even act like he takes the situation seriously might actually be worse.